Alright, Lynn here with another video. Um, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to clone a hard drive if you're trying to install a new SSD in your system. The software I'll be using is a software with that came with my uh, ADATA SSD I recently purchased, so the Acronis HD software. But this is kind of universal to most software, at least the general explanation of it. But this is pretty standard for most software. This shouldn't be that hard to follow even if you don't have the same software, but if you do have the Acronis HD software and you have an ADATA SSD, then you can follow right along with this. But there is a couple things you will need if you plan on just regularly installing and you don't have a main, uh, like a big computer or something. You will need a USB to SATA power and SATA data, and then you will also, of course, need your SSD. I will go ahead and switch over the screen capture of this laptop which is a HP NV17. Alright, once you have gone ahead and launched the software this is how, uh, how it comes up on your screen. So basically we want to go ahead and go into clone disk but first you want to make sure that your SSD is plugged in to your uh, laptop that you're using or desktop does not matter which one you're using alright now that you have everything plugged in and the SSD plugged in um, as you can see clone disk but first we need to check to see if uh, the SSD is recognized in the system and I do have it plugged up already um, but as you can tell right in here, um, the SSD is not showing up. So you need to go in and open create and format uh, hard drive partitions. Since the SSD is not already formatted, uh, you will have to format it in order to uh, use it. So just go ahead and use the default for that and hit OK and click on this and hit new simple volume and just keep clicking next you can change if you want a different uh, drive letter you can go ahead and do that just to make sure nothing interferes I'm going to use a lower drive letter but you can also uh, just keep clicking next and if you want to label this I'm just gonna go ahead and make it easier to recognize and just hit next and hit finish and now that shows up right here nothing is on there but now it shows up so now you can go back into the Acronis software and hit clone disk and there is the cloning mode and I usually like to go with manual but as you, if you just want to read this this basically does everything for you I just like to verify everything so I usually do manual um, the source disk make sure I'm selecting the correct one which is um, the Toshiba one terabyte drive and then selecting the SSD which there's this is just telling you that it can delete and will delete everything once you uh, do everything. But the best uh, method to use if you're using a smaller or larger hard drive, it basically does everything for you. It just proportionally moves everything over as long as you don't have more data than what is going over to the new drive. Like this is a 1 terabyte drive but a 480 gig SSD. But I do not have over 480 gigs of stuff on this laptop so I can go ahead and just hit proportional and let it handle everything for me and then click proceed and then it will shut down the laptop and just go ahead and hit restart I will switch over to the other camera and just have to hold the camera at the screen alright uh, back with the second portion of the video a little bit was cut out um, cause the camera cut out some, uh, but anyway, with the f first portion of the video, you saw that, uh, 
how um, to clone a hard drive with in the laptop just using a uh, little USB 3 to SATA data and SATA power to clone to a SSD. Now I'm going to basically show you how to do that if you're using another computer, say something in a computer failed or something just or you just want to take the hard drive out and use a different computer. But I'm basically going to show you how to do that using a different computer. So I do have the hard drive from out of that uh, top and I have the SSD as well. So I'm going to also show you how to do that. If you're using a second computer, you will need a SATA data, SATA power to USB 3.0. Adapter. I will show you that you can do it two ways. You can connect one via that USB 3.0 to SATA adapter and you can connect one directly into the computer if it's a desktop. You can do it either way or you can do it both of them in directly to the computer or you can have them both on the adapters. Um, it's just whichever you want to use and whichever you can do and what you're comfortable with doing. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook this up directly to the computer. And I'll show you how to just basically plug this directly in. And then I'll walk you through the basically exact same steps. Cloning the hard drive. The only difference is that you won't have to reset, like restart your computer to do this. For a desktop to recognize another hard drive, you must turn the computer off and then back on, and then you must make sure there are no drive letter conflictions. So if this is coming from a regular computer, it's got a disk label as C. A regular computer already has a disk label C, so you have to go in and change the drive letter. Basically, exact way I showed you how to format in the first part of the video. You can just change the drive letter. If it does not show up already, just go in, change the drive letter. I'll go ahead and get this swapped around. Alright, now I will be showing you how to hook everything up. So what you'll need to hook in directly to a desktop is a, well, the hard drive. You'll need a spare SATA power, which I'll show you in a second. And you'll need a spare SATA data cable. So I'll go ahead and just plug this in right here. And then that little black part right there is SATA power so I will go ahead and plug that in really quick alright now the hard drives uh, hooked up um, it's alright to hang there it doesn't really matter just to hook this up all you gotta do is match these up with the long one and the short one just plug this into the USB 3.0 slot. Now since I just hooked this up, we'll go ahead and see if anything is recognized. So both of these have drive conflictions. So I will, for one, the computer has to be restarted to recognize that local disk, which is the actual hard drive, and then I will show you how to change the drive letter and so that there are no conflictions with that. Now because of the way I have my monitor set up on my main computer I can't do screen capture so I'm just gonna have to do the best that I can with making sure everything's in focus and everything is readable. Um, but anyway go ahead and down end the search menu right here the search bar for whatever windows version you're on go ahead and type in create and format hard disk partitions now it should pop up go ahead and click that and then i'll bring up a window like this so here is here is my primary ssd right here and these are the two this is the new one, disc 4, which should be 100% unused. And then disc 1 is the actual hard drive from the laptop. Open a file explorer and we'll see what hard drives are recognized. And none of them are. So that means there are hard, there are actual conflictions 
Let's go ahead and take care of the SSD and change this to like O or something that was completely unused. And now there is the SSD. So just to now get do its Q or something. But this is the uh, hard drive for the laptop. Now those are done and they both show up. So now to launch the Acronis HD software. Same process as the first time. I prefer manual. Go ahead and click source disk and that would be the Toshiba one terabyte drive. All right, now to get on to the destination disk, there is the uh, SSD. Confirm deleting everything. Then it just verifies this and this might take a while as well. I prefer to use proportional. I can do manual, but I'd rather just let it handle everything in this portion. Then you just click next, and this also might take a minute or so. And click proceed. Let's go down here to this tray at the bottom of the screen. It'll tell you percentage completed, and I will be right back. All right, now that the cloning is done with the hard drive, you can just pop the SSD into the computer the hard drive was in. And that's really all for the video. So uh, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, if you have any uh, other questions, go ahead and uh, leave those down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day.